Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Edward Plus. Last run was weird. We don't talk about the last run. This run, we're gonna we're gonna pop off. Oh, the stats, I love them already. Two WGL Yojo. And yo Yojo to you as well. It's a weird choice there early, right? Like what do you think? Do you take leprosy? Or do you wait until you get the chance to maybe re-roll? It's not like leprosy's terrible. Eh, I thought about it for two seconds. I've actually decided leprosy is... I mean, people sometimes, they'll make a joke. They'll take it out of context. They'll be like, Leprosy's not terrible. NL 2020. I'm glad we re-rolled it. The reality is... I mean, is there, there must still be leprosy. Like, I don't know if it's ever been completely taken care of. But at the same time, it's like... You know, this ain't the Middle Ages. It's, it's not something that springs up all the time. I'm not suggesting leprosy is a good thing. I'm more suggesting that it, by taking it out of context, I think the response you would get from most people is not like, wow, he said that. The response you would get from most people is, what's leprosy? Anyway. That's that's my two cents, at least. This is my thoughts on that subject. It's just, I don't want to go off on a rant here or whatever. Let's see what we got. Two of clubs was actually... Precisely what I was looking for to blow this up. And again, I want to reiterate. We're, we're treating this like an audition. We're coming off of the emotional high. Terrible hit there. That's, that's going to undermine my point substantially. We're coming off the emotional high of having, you know, over 60 wins. Um, so even just to be back here at like 5... You know, that's a pretty good place to be, but you might be going, I don't know if he's got it in him to keep it going. I would say, I mean, I think you're right to be concerned because previously we have definitely had situations where we were like doing very well on a streak and then kind of fell off, right? Um, you didn't even pick up the item. <laughs> It's gonna undermine my point yet again, but work with me. Remember, we went back for the item. Yes, we left it behind for a second, but we went back. We went blues. My uh, my purpose here is to convince you that I'm gonna I'm gonna do the things right that need to be done, so we can have a an entertaining Isaac episode in the first place. But then also on top of that, we can rebuild the streak. And I, I honestly, I think it's only a modest goal to rebuild the streak. I think what we should be talking about is you know building the streak even better in the future. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're only you know eight percent of the way there. I did do the math slightly there. I was like, we won about 60 games. This is game five. Well, this is game six. But five wins. Five of 60 is one in 12. One in 12 is about eight and a half percent. You got any more questions for me, sweetheart? It's just one of those fractions you, you pick up. Yo, finger's pretty good. Now that one you could take out of context. All right, we do have a, a Tinted Rock. Take advantage of that. I mean, everything is... This This is pretty much your prototype for a successful Isaac run up to the first deal with the Devil. All we need now to really take it through to the next uh, step is to get a good or amazing deal with the Devil. And then, oh, I mean, that's pretty amazing too. Although I think we could maybe get something out of the the finger bone if we just got hit a little bit more, but it's probably not worth taking the chance on it. So the very interesting thing about Eden runs is like, I really feel that our damage on this Eden run, that was uh, just, we shouldn't have stood there. Our damage on this Eden run is essentially like better than the damage on our previous run was up until the depths. Speed down is whatever, not that bad. We can't afford to telepill, so don't even take the rest of those to begin with. A Thame is actually probably one of the better one hard deals we could have asked for. We didn't have to take anything, for the record. But I think that, that taking something there... First off, it might have opened up the health upgrade to us instead of it being a health downgrade. Secondly, we have enough HP to make it work right now. And enough damage that we don't expect to, to run into too much trouble anyway. Um, for now, at least. I think it's a very, very fair assessment. Do we ever start shooting uh, normally? At any point, do we start shooting normally, perhaps? Or are we just stuck like this forever now? 
because I had the audacity to go down a Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> we got it. So I'm thinking... I mean, we don't have a key to go to the shop. So I'm thinking that we wait until we get a bomb. There we go. And we use the bomb to blow up the stone chest. And then we see what's going on in here. And... I think we could actually tough this one out. Like, the Hermit card, I, I think it's best used to teleport us out of a room where we're going to take damage or where we just don't want to bother, but, like, who cares? I can't believe he actually popped up. I was, I was blasting him, dude. All right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving for now. I got to tell you, I got the appetite right now for whatever run Isaac wants to throw at me. You want to throw some trash at me? I'm ready. You want to give me a, an, an absolutely overpowered run we could win in like 23 minutes? I'm for it. I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm in the right headspace today, and I'm, I'm just ready for whatever the game sees fit to throw at me. Right now, it seems like it's throwing a, a decisively above average run at me. Which is very dangerous, because I have no banter material. I haven't been outside in like... Forever. <laughs> I've got no anecdotes. I, I have become like one of the... Like a, a cat person. Where I'm like, you know, hey, Tomo was crazy yesterday. You wouldn't believe it. He was meowing, you know? That's that's all I got right now. I've just got that and the same joke I've been trying to workshop on stream for like two weeks now. Skip the dishes? That's, that's like a Uber Eats in Canada. We do have Uber Eats as well. But skip the dishes? Yeah, I skip the dishes. I have to take the garbage out twice as often because of all the packaging, but please note, I make an effort to recycle the recyclable parts of the packaging and compost the biodegradable parts of the packaging. Sometimes some businesses still serve you in styrofoam. As a result, what am I supposed to do? I don't really know what to do with styrofoam. I'm pretty sure it goes in the trash. I don't think there's anything else you could do with it. Um, no recyclables were harmed in the making of this joke. So it, it was a health down. So taking a Thame allowed us to get a health up. So now we want a deal with the devil. And if we can get the deal with the devil, then we can get another health upgrade. And we're, we're going infinite to go even further beyond. Oh my god, I can't believe we didn't get hit there. But yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty much it. We are going like, you know, the world's going a little bit insane. So, I, you may have remembered this. This is like a five-month-old anecdote. But for my birthday, my parents bought me these nice dumbbells. Don't get me wrong, but they bought me these Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. We'll check here, obviously. And, uh... Sure. They're amazing, but I was kind of, like, complaining earlier when we were buying them. I mean, it's a very weird first world complaint. Like, my parents want to buy me a nice gift, but, you know, they're n the shopping for the nice gift is taking up a lot of the limited time that we have to spend together. That was basically the gist of the bit. So we ended up paying, I don't know, like 250 to 300 Canadian dollars for these two adjustable dumbbells that go from like 5 to 52 and a half pounds each, which is like... It's expensive, don't get me wrong. And I think it's, like, dishonest to compare it. Like, well, if you were to buy a rack of dumbbells that go from, you know, 5 pounds to 52.5, you would probably spend, like, maybe, I don't know, 500 to to $1,000 to get all the, all the pairs. Because, like, I'm just going to level with you. I'm not using 5 to 30. <laughs> so, I really, I'm only using, like, 35, 40, 45, 50, and maybe occasionally a 52.5. It's not because I'm strong, it's just because, you know, I'm not doing weird isolation exercises that are like, this works out your pinky finger. So, you know, it's not a fair comparison. But the other thing is, when you live in a place that's not huge, having two dumbbells basically do the work of a full dumbbell rack is like, you're, you're trading a little bit of money for something you don't have, which is a lot of space. So... It's been good, and I, I've been using them, like, but when the gyms were still open, I was using them on my off days sometimes, just to do a little supplementary work. Supplementary work, I should say. Um, now, I've been using them for, like, I mean, my supplementary work has become, like, my only work when it comes to working out. And uh, Kate was telling me yesterday, she was like, you know those dumbbells that your parents got for you? 
they're selling on Vancouver Craigslist for like two thousand dollars right now I also I didn't know this I mean I didn't know that about the dumbbells but I did read an article probably like in the second week of March that's very good hold on oh dude I just needed some real deals dude some holy fields speed down walking on sunshine um don't really care about the shop we don't have any guppy items let's, let's keep exploring though let's keep exploring for a bit um that and I think I mentioned this in an Isaac episode earlier, but like Wii Fit Adventure, Ring Fit Adventure, I should say. Sorry, I'm 100 years old. Um, Ring Fit Adventure is was at the time that I looked at it, it was selling for like 200 to 300 dollars, and that's you know, hope you, I hope you have a Switch to begin with, because if you gotta actually purchase a Switch, I've heard that you're kind of like out of luck on that as well um, during the pandemic stuff. But uh, man, it's insane. I'm here to tell you, by the way, if you... Well, first off, if you bought Ring Fit Adventure for a staggering markup, I hope you got your money's worth. I hope you feel like it's it's keeping you sane. Now, for everybody else, I'm going to issue a little caveat emptor, which is, I do not think that Ring Fit Adventure is worth $300. <laughs> really, like... And... Uh, I understand there's some... Oh, that's small rock. There's some value to the gamification. And it made for a, an awesome stream. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you're really just doing like running in place, body weight squats. You know, you, you do get a little bit of tension out of like stretching your... Uh, stretching the ring and compressing the ring a little bit. But, you know, that's nothing you couldn't do. Honestly, with like a resistance band that you could probably get much cheaper even now. And then like... Just on any object that weighs like four or five pounds would probably do it for you as well. I still think Ring Fit Adventure is a cool game, but it, the fact when I saw it was selling for like three hundred bucks, I was like, "What <laughs> are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? We should go back for that. You got to do the little things right." So the market's all topsy turvy, apparently. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, gasoline was in the negatives. Everybody had the same joke. Thinking about driving down to Oklahoma, picking up a, a thousand barrels of crude oil. Dumping them straight <laughs> into the nearest body of water and going to get some more. That's working as intended, right? They said that you, you have to take possession of the barrels. They didn't say you have to store them. Once you take possession of the barrels, the barrels are, are your property to do with what you see fit. I don't need storage, I just need a big truck. Now, if this is not obvious, I would never um, dump crude oil into a body of water. That's ridiculous. What I would do is pour it down the sink. Because then it goes to the water treatment plant and they know how to get all that icky stuff out of there. So, um, I'm joking. It's not funny. I know, but, like, I'm laughing. If it's not funny, why am I laughing? A man's falling into the river in Lego City, and you're laughing? You're laughing. So many curse rooms. Let me go. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Um, but I do know what I'm going to do when I get there. I'm going to hope that there is a deal with the devil, and we can finally... <laughs> Finally take advantage of this health down pill that we have been holding on to for three floors Trying to get one little bit of HP when I say I'm trying to do oh, you fool When I say I'm trying to do the little things right This is what I mean Don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff I did walk on a spike in that room you got me No, thank you Well, I do love um Bloody Lust, that's a great item for us. We got enough HP, especially once we execute our incredible HP-related Devil Deal Gambit a little bit later, um, that we are, I think, gonna be in, like, a pretty great spot. As far as, like, if we find a, a Blood Bank or something. We really can't afford to get rid of... Uh, to get rid of Curved Horn. I mean, we shouldn't say it so negatively. It's more like our trinket is so good, we don't want to. We don't want to dust it for no reason. However, 
there is a piece of me that's like, I keep seeing all these like half decent trinkets. I'd love to get a little slice. But we already got a great one. Oh well. Oh well. I think we're in that classic part of a run that's just like, right now, it's a holding pattern. It might take us, you know, another five minutes to really get to the point where it starts to pog off, but I think we're up there. I, I, think, I think we're in the mix. I mean, our stats are so good by, like, just basically what we started with was already great. So thank you, thank you for just letting me get the heck out of here. I believe in spite of the curse, we've seen all of our uh, special rooms. Don't pick that up yet. I know it's weird. We just, we might not want a full HP container in case we actually do get a deal. We did get a deal. Now it's not going to change things. Oh, it is going to change things because we can health up. Oh my god, he's finally done it. <laughs> there are those who said it would never be done. And look at that. That's great stuff. Look at us. Who would it? Not me. Okay, so we have I think we have two heart containers right now. We can definitely play three times. Really thought we'd get like a single heart out of that at some point. Again, far far be it for me to complain, kind of. Um, but do you feel like maybe we've been cursed a lot on this run? I feel like we've been cursed more than average. Now, the level of complaint I have is pretty low because we've also gotten way, way, way better luck than usual with respect to our own stats, particularly damage and rate of fire. But, like, I feel, I feel kind of cursed. Not gonna lie, I feel low-key cursed right now. Sorry, I've been interfacing with the Zoomers a little bit more. <laughs> I recently, I started listening to the band uh, 100 Gex. Someone recommended 100 Gex to me. People, by the way, they lost their mind. I, I made a, a very self-aware tweet that personally I thought was hilarious. That says, what is 100 Gex? With, with an X instead of a C and an S. And I went, ha 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 ha. Then a lot of people tweeted. And we're like, I can't believe this boomer's tweeting about 100 Gex. You all think uh, you're the first generation to be cool? Absolutely, you think I wasn't rocking uh, Dan Deacon back in like 2005? I mean, I, he was, he's been around a lot longer than that, but at the same time, you know, I haven't. Um, you're not the first generation to be listening to cool music like, you know, Ariel Pink and the Haunted Graffiti or whatever. You think you invented like, you know, bass boosting and bit shifting? Come on. Anyway. So I listened to this song by a, a, a hundred gecks called Money Machine, and I went, "What? What is this? I don't understand what I'm listening to." It turned me into my dad. That's like, why is there so much noise? I mean, back in my day, we had you know shoegaze, but it wasn't like this. Then I listened to it one more time, and I was like, "Yo, it does have kind of a hook, though." And then you know, found myself kind of rocking in the shower a little bit. Feels so clean like a money machine. That's right, I'm familiar. I'm hip, I'm with it. I'll bump it out of the side of the Ford Focus next time... Uh, next time there's people on the sidewalk that can actually hear it. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 a, I'm not like normal dads. I'm a cool dad. I, I'm into all sorts of me. You wanna... You know, another dad rolls up to me, he wants to talk about John Mayer. Hey, it's not my scene, but I hear he's a great guitar player. Another, you know, someone wants to roll up to me and they'll be like... Hey, what's your favorite uh, beta band song? I'll be like, it's probably Dry the Rain, but Intermeet Me is pretty good as well. Last night I dreamt somebody fell asleep. She said to me. You know that one? <laughs> Maybe you don't know that one. That's, that's, we're getting a little bit weird now. Okay, one reroll, please. Half price item. Oh, the irony. That's all right. We don't really care about Steam Sale. And I'm actually, I'm content with death as an item. Oh! Oh, I'll get it. Okay, sure. Oh, we got nothing to worry about. Turns out we are no longer cursed. That's great news. Um, we still can't really play the Blood Bank anymore, though. Um, I, th I think we should try. I think we should try to play the Blood Bank more. But let the only way we can do that is we gotta open up a seam first on this side. There's 
there is a fallacy. I mean, I was there too. Every generation kind of thinks their generation is the the first generation to appreciate experimental music. You can always go back and listen to Lou Reed's Metal Machine music, which I'm pretty sure is like uh, 85 minutes. I think we'll check. Of uh, just industrial machines scraping against one another. But then even then, I bet there were like Gregorian chanters, you know, who, who back in like the 11th century. Everybody was going, oh, 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 and one Gregorian chanter was like, bang, a rang, and everyone was like, get a load of Mordecai. Mordecai, what are you doing? And he's taking a fat hit off of an ether bottle. You wouldn't understand. So this chant goes wub 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 ticket ticket. Wub wub ticket ticket down down chicka down down chicka ticket ticket. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. That's that's killing in the name by Rage Against the Machine. Why do I even look? That's not for me. That's not where I want to be. Okay, so where are we at in the run? I mean, we are at um, an undeniable place of incredible goodness. You know? Which is, it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like, uh, Amazon Prime's The Good Place knockoff. A place of undeniable goodness. Um, but really, like, as much as I have some slight issues with the run, namely I'm kind of annoyed I wasn't able to play the Blood Bank a little bit more on the last floor, um, there's just something to be said about the fact that, you know, we're already at 19 minutes, on the womb one. I'm pretty sure on that champion run where uh, it took us 53 minutes just to get to the cathedral. I'm pretty sure on that run at 19 minutes we had finished like the caves one. So it's just one of those times where you got to say, you know what? We'll be thankful for what we got. I mean, it, and th I, I feel weird even saying that because the run is so good. It should be no problem to be thankful for what we've got. The only thing that should be a challenge is, is maintaining our desire to do the little things properly, in spite of the fact that the run is already going so well right now. Don't take it yet. Just gotta be honest. I, I don't I don't see the value in those. I just don't see the value in those right now. So we will continue moving. I walked into them. That's that's doing the little things wrong. But you know what? We got HP out of it. What are my plans for the week? I'm glad you asked. Hey, I forgot to mention. This is like the worst possible way to bring it up. Because this is the series that has the longest backlog by like a factor of five. But we hit 815,000 subscribers. So I'm playing some Super Smash Bros. Maybe I did mention it yesterday now that I think about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Super Smash Bros. I'm still So originally when I like drafted the list... Of subscriber milestones. And this is not your fault. For the record. I hope what I say doesn't come across as complaining. I always couch it in the you know, reality of the situation. Which is I'm grateful for the community I have. And you know, honestly a lot of YouTubers. At the same size as me. Would probably kill to have a community that. You know is watching me play Isaac for the 15. Well I was going to say 1500th time. But maybe you know the 35th hundred time. Um, so it's like I don't take that for granted in the least. But when I set the milestones, I was like, you know what? In case we get moving, these like 5k milestones, 815, 825, etc, etc. I really want those to be like one-off videos. And then the, the 10s, 820, 830, etc, etc. Those can be more like, um, you know, a series that takes like multiple days. But I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the Smash Bros one. Which I really could have done way in advance. Because, you know, it's Smash Bros. It's not like I need to hire a you know, a coach or whatever, um, or a storyboard artist, but, like, I'm like, uh, you know, I want to show my appreciation that we got to 815, and it took a long time to get from, like, you know, 8 to 815, we could definitely, it's not like we're gonna hit 820 right out of the gate, you know, we could definitely, uh, we could definitely let it ride, and do, uh, you know, a few Smash Bros. videos. Because I don't know what we're going to accomplish in one Smash Bros. video. But thank you again. I'll reiterate. First off, if you have subscribed, whether it was, you know, 
this week or five years ago or eight years ago or whatever. Um, I appreciate it a great deal. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Even if you think that you don't need to do it because my videos come out at a regular pace. I don't know what percentage of Isaac viewership is not subscribed. It's got to be like a staggeringly low level. I'll, I'll even I'll, I'll go full salesman on you right now. You're gonna be like, I don't I respect you NL, but I don't want to put you in my subscription feed because it clogs up my sub feed. You don't need those other YouTubers. You know I support them in a in an abstract sense. You don't need them. I'm putting out enough content daily. If you like what I make. You can put me in your sub feed and then, you know, just see where it goes from there. It's possible that after six weeks of watching four Northern Land videos a day, you'll be like, you know what? I don't need Khan Academy anymore. <laughs> I don't need BBC News. I got Isaac. I got Eden. I got Northern Lion Tries. I got rhythm and we could ask for anything more. I'm telling you. I'll let let me cannibalize that whole feed. I'm ready to go. But thank you, nonetheless. And I'll also I'll hit you with the same thing I've been saying about other series as well, but offset now. Um, if you enjoy the episodes, I've been making a hard push for likes lately. I'm just I'm being as transparent as I'm, well, I'm being as 100% transparent. You know, I I want my videos to get picked up by the YouTube algorithm more, so we can continue riding a wave. Now, if we don't get picked up and we stay where we are for a hundred years, I'll happily keep producing the Isaac episodes. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I'd also love you know we're putting in more effort on the channel this year, and it definitely shows. I would love to see that uh, reflected in the numbers. When you click the like button, it sends a message to the YouTube algorithm. That is like, hey, people like this video, show it to more people. So if you actually do like the video, go ahead and click it. Not the video, the like button, it helps out. And then if you're like, what if I don't like it? You can do whatever you want, you know? Even if you like the video and you don't click the button, as a weird act of, of defiance to be like, frick you, I won't do what you tell me. Um, I understand, I'm happy you're here. What if I click the dislike button? The dislike button is, they should remove it from the platform. <laughs> At least for, for creators who don't make garbage, no offense, uh, other creators. But for me, the dislike button is like, so supposedly, dislikes improve engagement, which means that your video shows up higher in search rankings and is recommended to more people. I know that sounds bizarre. It's something that's been repeated a lot. I have no idea how true it actually is. Um, and you're like, it's true. Okay, but prove it. Like, I know you've heard YouTubers mention it, but like, YouTube, we're, we're not the best source, honestly. We don't vet our sources all the time before we say stuff. Have you seen, like, YouTube gaming news channels? A post on Reddit seemed to indicate Gabe Newell bench pressed 400 pounds. That's just a caricature, but you get the idea. Um,. So I don't know whether or not that's true. So it's, but if it is true, then essentially by clicking the dislike button, you're helping me, but also making me feel bad. Because <laughs> then I boot up the episode at the end of the day, and I go, oh, this one, you know, instead of 97% of people liking it, this one is a 93. I must have royally screwed up. And then someone's like, that stone chest play on the first floor, ridiculous. And I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Really wanted you to be algiers, but luck ups, luck ups, luck ups. Um. So yeah, that's that's my pitch on that. And of course, you know, I the number one thing here's and we've talked about it ad nauseum on Check the Wire. Whether you like, subscribe, or do neither, or don't never leave a comment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I'm happy to have you here. Most of the media I consume in my entire life, I have never left a comment on it. Never left a comment on Dan Carlin's Hardcore History episodes, etc., etc., right? Sometimes I'll, you know, if I'm watching a streamer, I'll type something in chat. I'll be like, if they, I, I've become a really good chatter. If, if a streamer makes me laugh, I type lull. Because I'm like, you know what? And when I say funny things, I want to hear lull as well. It's the golden rule. Lull others as you'd like to be lulled. What? 
on Earth is this incredible hull? This is amazing. Proptosis. Lusty Blood. Serpent's Kiss. Homing Tears. Judas's Shadow, which we will not take advantage of, but still. And then Sharp Straw, which is going to do a ton of damage because we do a ton of damage. Health down, range down, whatever. Well, it's going to do decent damage. A ton of damage might have been a misnomer. But yeah, you know, my philosophy on content is, you know, the analytics are one thing. But uh, I'm, I'm just happy you're here and you're watching. Because I think if, you know, if you watch the videos in a way that is most frictionless and convenient for you, that means you're more likely to watch more, which means you're more likely to stick around, which means, you know, just because maybe you're not uh, as engaged of a viewer from an algorithmic sense, we're, we're playing the long game. Make good stuff, or at least the best stuff I feel like I'm capable of making, and then, um, you know, let, let the chips fall where they may on the... On the algorithmic side of things. So a little column A, a little column B. Anyway, this run is now... I mean, it was probably already unlosable. But is Okay, especially now that we found the boss so early. That was genuinely one of the absolute best... Um, like, Yera chest setups I've ever seen. That was kind of unbelievable. Now, if only we, we also had the cojones to get Judas's shadow, because we would be crushing it right now. But either way, do, I mean, look at this. This is a, it's a beautiful thing. For now, thanks for watching. That takes us to six in a row. Hey, from 8% to 10% of the way there. If you enjoyed it, as mentioned, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.